हाय गाइस वेलकम बैक इन लर्न पाइथन थ्री विद आतिफ मसी सीरीज इन दिस वीडियो वी विल क्रिएट अ सिंपल एज कैलकुलेटर यूजिंग डे टाइम मॉड्यूल इन प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट डे टाइम मॉड्यूल एंड डिफरेंट क्लासेस ऑफ डे टाइम मॉड्यूल बट इन दिस वीडियो we will use day time module to create a simple age calculator calculator will calculate age in years month days also hours minutes and second and first we have to import day time class from day time module using from keyword and then we will fetch current date time using date time dot now method and then stored it in current date and this is a string birth date from i want to calculate the age and see here birth date is jan 15 1993 in string value and using date time dot strp time method we will convert string date to day time format and see here in previous video i have discuss about strp time class if you want to learn more about this please watch my previous video and see here strp time just take two arguments first name of string date and then format and then we have stored it in born underscore date and see here i just printed out both in string and born underscore date and see here the result string value and see here this is a converted value and see here we have 1993 gen and 15 and time equal to 00 now we will calculate the total days from the birth date to current day and see here i just subtract the current date with born day and stored it in total days and then i just print out total day and see here 10016 days and this is a time hour minute and second now we will convert all the days into second and see here we have total seconds method and we will convert total days into second using total underscore second and then stored it in total sec and then i just print out the total second and see here this is a value of total seconds and now we will convert seconds to years and we just divide that total second by 365 for year 24 for day hours and minutes and seconds and then i just print out the years and after that i will convert years into integer and see here we have total year 27.44 and so on and we have years in integer 27 and now we will separate 27 and after decimal value and we will calculate month from the value that is after decimal and see here we have just subtract the years minus years int and then stored it in remaining in and then stored it in years_remaining 
and then I just print out the remaining values of year and see here we have separated 27 is a integer value and this is a value of year after pointing decimal point and this is a value of year after decimal point and now we will calculate month from this value and see here how we do that and see here we will just multiply the years underscore remaining with 12 and then we print out the months and see here total months from remaining value we have month 5.29 and so on and now we will separate 5 and after decimal point value and we will calculate days from the dot 2 9 and so on and 5 is a month value and see here first I just converted the months into integer and then I print out the value of month in int and then by subtracting month with month underscore int and then store the value of remaining month in month underscore remaining and then I just print out the value and see here I just separate the integer value and decimal value and now we will calculate days from the decimal value and see here how we will do that I just multiply the month underscore remaining with 365 and then divided by 12 and it will convert the value into days and then I just print out the days and then I just converted the days into in and see here total days from the remaining value of month and see here we have total days 8.97 and so on and and now we will calculate hours from 0.9711 and so on and we will separate 8 for the day and see here same as above I just subtract the days with in day and then I stored it in remaining day and then to calculate the hour I just multiply the remaining days with 24 and then I print out the hour and see here we have total hour from the remaining value and see here 23.32 and so on and now we will separate 23 and 32 and from this value we will calculate minutes and see here same as above I just subtract the hours with hours in and then to calculate minute I just multiply the remaining hour with 60 and then I just converted it into minutes and see here we have total minutes 20.65 and so on and then I just separate the 20 and now we will calculate second from this value and see here same as above I just subtract the minutes with minutes int and then I just multiply the remaining minutes with 60 and it will convert it into seconds and then I stored it in seconds and then I just print out the value of seconds and then I will convert value of second into int using int function and then I just print out the value of 
seconds in in and see here we have total seconds 54.72 and in integer we have 54 and see here now we have all the values years in int months in int and days and hours and minutes and second and now we are able to calculate all the values and we just print out the all values using f string method and see here using print statement and see here i have used here f string method you are now see here in place order i just place here years underscore in years and then months in place order and then days underscore int and then hours and then minutes and then second and see here we have calculated the day you are 27 years 5 month 8 days 23 hours 26 minutes and 59 seconds old and we can take input from the user using input and see here let me command this and now please type or enter date of birth in this format month slash and then slash 1993 and see here it returned the same result now let me run again please enter your date of birth in this format month day and year three four two thousand and see here it calculate the date in years month day hour minute and second in this video we have discussed a simple age calculator using daytime module if you want to learn more about python please subscribe my channel and like and share my videos with your friend and don't forget to click on bell icon so that you won't miss my we'll be right back thank you so much for watching my video